Today on Runaway Roses, Todd continues the rebuild progress on the severe water damage basement from the structural frame to the finished walls. How awesome is that? Here, take a look. Carla completes the countertop restoration along with grinding and painting the rear steps as well as Carla is able to surprisingly clean and repair the bathroom wall. It's been a long day. <laughs> Stay tuned for our renovation rundown. Everybody, I'm Carla and I'm Todd and we're the Runaway Roses and on this episode we're going to give you the renovation rundown of everything we've done over the past week and a half or so so let's get started the first thing uh, that we've been tackling is the uh, the main thing the biggest thing is the basement rebuild but uh, we've had a, actually a lot of main things really but uh, so as you saw in the last video uh, we tore out all the rotten wood uh, the wet wood and that sort of stuff and uh, there, solve that problem. <laughs> so on this episode, I've basically been rebuilding and, and putting it all back together. So you'll see where I, uh, I got some oak plywood, so it's real rigid and stiff. And uh, what it is that we're using is an oak plywood. I'm using that because it's, it's uh, super stiff. It's very strong, super stiff. It's, it's not gonna flex like typical plywood so it's three quarters of an inch and I've cut that I, I made a template made a pattern and uh, cut the frame for it there it is there's our new floor and uh, and put all that down I got some glue some adhesive I got some Loctite it's a PL8X it is uh, supposed to be eight times stronger than your standard construction adhesive all the plywood is in, I've glued it all in. I may uh, glue a few more spots. I've actually gone through five tubes of that adhesive so far, so. And once I glued all that down, uh, we went ahead and uh, we started working on uh, the water area. I had to do the same thing in there and underneath all the plumbing, so that was a big challenge. Uh, that was, yeah, that was big. Like the whole the whole thing was big. I mean, it, like it took a lot of time, and it was like very um, tedious work. It was, yeah. I, I put I don't know how many hours into it. Uh, it goes by quick on video, but uh, it's just taken <laughs> yeah. me about a couple of weeks to really, you know, put it all back together, tear it apart, put it back together. So yeah. Uh, but it, it has it's come out great. But uh, I got through that. And there's still a few things I still need to put the plumbing back together. But uh, right now, just work, we're working on getting the floor done, so. He was able to do the water area without um, actually removing anything or taking much well, apart. Yeah, I'm not anything. I did have to take the whole drain assembly out, but as far as the water lines, I just kind of was able to, they have flexible uh, water lines. I was able to just kind of move them around and kind of get them out of the way. So it was kind of a pain, but it worked. Yeah, yeah. got through it, so. Uh, and then after that, um, Basically, just glued down a uh, uh, some plywood flooring over the framing, and, uh, and that's basically like a three sixteenths uh, piece of ply that uh, basically matched up with what was down there originally. So they kind of just lined up, and it's nice and flat. And then uh, I had to, I did tear the whole back end wall apart, yeah. and uh, so all the vertical structures were uh, gone. You can see where I clammed up all the new uh, vertical boards you can see it in there so i had to yeah. rebuild all those and uh, glue in uh, new vertical supports and then i had to reframe out the uh the generator area and uh, so basically now it has all new uh three quarter inch ply vertical walls here it is here's the uh generator area i've redone that put all new wood in there from top to bottom and uh, I actually made a little access panel to the storage area, so I got a good bit of extra storage going all the way back in there. So pretty excited about that. We can get some long stuff in there, like brooms or fold-up chairs or something like that. Um, and this is the other area, the main basement area there. 
It's looking good. Carla cleaned it all out yesterday. It's it's way stronger than it was before, so yeah. uh, so I know we can you know sleep peacefully knowing that uh, you know we're we're good to go as far as, as far as that goes. Yeah. So for sure. I think it turned up real well. We I did find some extra storage uh, down yeah. in the basement, so that's, that's cool. really cool. Uh, there was a big area that just had some uh, gas line and some wires and stuff running through it, so I was able to tie up the wires and get the gas line out of the way. So now we got a big long. Uh, and you know how it goes. Whenever you can have more storage, you, you girl, it's always welcome because you, you know, know you know you're very limited in most campers. So yeah, so I mean it's like long enough where you can put like a you know a broom or we could probably even put like a collapsible chair up in there yeah. and that sort of thing or a couple I mean, of them even a it's, couple of them yeah, so it's that's pretty cool big, big pretty, spot. pretty excited about that and yeah while i was working on all that carla was busy doing all kinds of crazy stuff yeah so i um finished up the the countertops as you saw in the last video and um i did the countertop where we're sitting now at the table and i did the kitchen countertop and then i did the sandwich bar and um, while it was quick on video, it definitely took some time. So it took me a, a couple of days to get that done. And I'm a little bit slower because I have a tendency to be a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. So that's just the way I am. But it came out great, though. It, <laughs> yeah. it, it looks awesome. I mean, it's amazing. The, the countertops and tabletop. I mean, I, yeah. we didn't really know what exactly we were going to do other than relaminate them, but they yeah. came out great. They and looked we fantastic. Could, we could have, and Todd could have relaminated them because he's really good at doing that, but that's really the last thing we wanted to do at this point because we knew he was going to have to spend a whole lot of time on the basement, and that was our first and foremost um, you know, thing to do in here. So Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got that done, and um, then I also... Um, sanded or grinded and sanded the steps the um, step that goes on the bumper and also the detachable step um, I sanded those down because they had decals all over them and all kinds of stuff as you'll see and works pretty good you now we got this little grinding wheel and it's working pretty good getting all the sand the rust and flaky paint off um, you know, I, I did that and then repainted them and they look good as new now, so. Yeah, it's a, the whole bumper area, it's gonna look great by the time we get it all back together. One other thing I did was I um, got the Sharpie off the wall, which was, you know. A huge. Huge, because I was, <laughs> I, the, the beginning I was talking about putting deep, um, what, are, what do you call those, peel and stick tiles over them because we seriously thought that we would not be able to remove yeah. those and and it was yeah. amazing that we even did we got this stuff yeah. called um, Clorox bleach stuff we used that but we also use this stuff called crud cutter and it's um, graffiti remover so I use that first and then I use the bleach so we think the combination of the two probably is what did it what removed it but yeah. whatever it is we get it off and it looks so much better yeah, yeah. we'll show you that so look for a link below for all the stuff uh, that we've been using because yeah. And a lot of the stuff that had really kind of turned out to be key yeah. as far as and getting we, some of this done. Seriously, so. we did not know what was going to remove it when going into it. So I didn't think it was going to yeah. come off. No way. <laughs> I totally did not think it was coming off. So yeah. And she even bought some uh, some tiles, some stick-on tiles, yeah. Yeah. and uh, she sent them back. Yeah, but, sent them back. Uh, yeah, so we're excited about that. The bathroom's going to look awesome. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. And then one other thing that I did today, um, today is actually Labor Day, and um, we didn't get a whole lot done because we spent some time with family, but um, we did a few things this afternoon, and I sanded the uh, medicine cabinet because it had some really, um, had rust like covered up in there, and it had some like old stuff in there like soap and peroxide, band-aids and, band -aids and, old, and old junk in there. and stuff kind of like gross. that, it was kind of gross. But yeah. Yeah, so I cleaned all that out, and it took a while. The rust just kept coming, but um, got it all out, and I started painting it with Rust-Oleum. Got the first coat on. It looks pretty good. So um, when I get done with that, it'll look like new, too. So we're excited about that, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've done a lot on this camper so far. we still yes. got things in mind that we're going to do. Carla's uh, planning on painting the interior, all the walls. So yeah. that's coming up. I got a new in, in color. The Here's the color I got. It's called Baja. So um, we think it's going to look pretty good. It's kind of the color that's in here, and it goes really well with the seats. Um, 
so yeah I'm going to work on doing that we did a small area in the back but and it looks pretty good so yeah I'm, I'm excited about that it's going to look really good once it's done so one other thing that I did was um, Todd removed the all the doors on the, the exterior storage doors and he um, well I, I cleaned all the adhesive around the outside of them and then he put some butyl tape and put them back on and uh, to seal them all up and and yeah um, that doesn't yeah. sound like a big job but it was it, it, was. it took Carla all day long it clean did. those things and get all the old tape off of it and, yes and uh and then she did that while I was finishing up on the basement and one of the next big goals that we have is we have to figure out the happy jacks because when we got it the remote we, we didn't have the remote with included with it so Todd is working on um, I guess working with Happy Jack right to yeah I've, uh, I've already tested all four of them and three out of the four uh, don't work so I already spoke with Happy Jack they sent me the form basically I just got to uh, take the motors off the jacks send them in they said they'll refurbish them for $60 a piece yeah. And then I'm going to order the new uh, controller and remote module. So all in all, it'll probably be five, six hundred dollars uh, to get them all back working again, and basically like new because it'd be new motors, new electronics, and everything. So, yeah. uh, so that'll be good. I just need to get on that. I I need to be able to put the camper on a platform and uh, somewhat stabilize it um, before I pull the the motor heads off off the jack. So, yeah. but. Yeah, looking forward to getting that done. So that'll probably take two or three weeks for that whole process. Yeah, and, and we really want to get it done because we would like to take it uh, with us to the um, Cherokee, the Falling for Fiberglass rally coming up in October. So we'd really like to hurry up and, and go ahead and get those done. So we're, we'll have to see how that goes this yeah. next couple weeks. As well as our camp out with yeah. Travels with Travels Delaney. Travels with Delaney in October is, as well. Yeah, October as yeah. well. So Those two are right together. Yeah, so. we're, we're going back to back on that uh, yeah. weekend to weekend. So we're really looking forward to that. That'll be awesome awesome hopefully we'll get the camper ready in time yeah. uh if not we got a backup because we still have the bigfoot so <laughs> yeah. if anybody's asking we still have the bigfoot we haven't got rid of it yet and we've, we're not ready to quite yet yeah we're we not wanna... ready to sell it yet <laughs> so uh we've had a bunch of people uh, comment on it and you know uh, ask if we're ready to sell it or you know ask if we miss it yet and that sort of stuff we're not missing it yet because we still got it. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you can see it in the background as we're working on the camper. Yeah, so, we, we, yeah still we still love, love the Bigfoot. So, yeah. so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So, yeah. well, let's first see how, how well we like the, the yes. Northern Light. So, that, that's first things first before we go <laughs> getting rid of that. So, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. But that's about it for this episode of uh, Runaway we got a lot more coming on uh, the Northern Light, uh, so yes. stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for some other up-and-coming things. We're, I'm still currently working on our trip to uh, Key West, so uh, that, yeah. that's that's fun. Um, it's a I'm, big video. It big was video. like whatever six days of us doing all the stuff there, so yeah. you can imagine it's a lot of got editing. a lot of footage to go through. And we did two cameras, and it, when you do that, it's a little bit more difficult. So yeah, yeah. I'm trying <laughs> trying to piece it all together, but. I'm working on that, so that's coming out here in the near future. But uh, other than that, uh, we should just uh, stay tuned for our up-and-coming travels. Uh, we'll have some more on that as well. So until next time, we'll see you on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And on this episode, we're going to give you the... the start, start over. over. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do today? Play ball? If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail.